I'm on a, uh, an hour long trip home, so things are going to keep me comfortable, or keep me comfortable, keep, keep me company. I just uh, dropped my shocks for my 250R project quad off at the, the guy that's going to rebuild them for me, so now I'm on my way home on 79, I got 51 miles to go to my next exit, so we're going to have story time. I'm going to tell you how I got started in affiliate marketing. That'll be exciting. <laughs> so, I'm not even going to pay attention to the comments or whatever because I'm driving, so. But, anyway, yeah, I got started in affiliate marketing because...
So after going through the program and learning everything that it had to offer, I was still at the point where I understood some of what I was taught, but I didn't understand all of what I was taught, and the implementation of it was missing. So I ended up signing up for one of their coaching programs, which was a $3,600 mistake. I had some really nice guy that really knew his shit meet with me once a week for 30 minutes and he would take over my computer and he would move my cursor around my computer doing all this shit, clicking on that, clicking on this and adding this and adding that and he was doing it so damn fast that I didn't have any idea what the hell he was doing. So I ended up having to have him record the sessions so I could go back through them again after and learn what it is that he was showing me. And then he would give me little simple homework assignments that would make it seem like he was giving me something to do, but he really wasn't giving me anything to do. I didn't learn anything from that. Um, so again, he reinforced the buying solo ads to market the product, and I did exactly what he was telling me to do. I started buying hundreds of dollars of solo ads a week, um, one week I actually ran $500 worth of solo ads. Uh, I think I may have gotten three sales off of the $500 worth of solo ads at $7 a sale, um, which 50% of $7 is $3.50 um, in reoccurring commissions. So out of the $1,500 that I spent on solo ads, I think I made $171 in change. Um, it took me four months to get paid 150 of that $171. And I think the rest of the money that I have in there is below the pay threshold. So I probably won't ever get the rest of it. Um, I did have one person that was still in the reoccurring commission. So I still get $3.50 from them every month. Um, which it'll take me forever to build that up to actually get the rest of my money out. But I don't promote partner with Anthony anymore because after after the whole solo ad fiasco and the coaching program fiasco, they talked me into a $2,500 business building program because it was supposed to get my LLC for me and, and get all my business stuff straightened out and get me ranked in, um, I don't even remember what the fuck it was, some business, um, ranking system, um, that if you want to borrow money and, and scale your business, that you need to be ranked in this, um, I forget what the hell it was called, but I never even followed through with any of that. I got my LLC out of it, and that was the end of that. I didn't, I didn't do anything with that. So, 1800 or $800 in debt. I'm sorry, $8,000 in debt from the first $79 program that I purchased. And I still didn't have a business that was profitable and I still didn't really understand what the hell I was doing. So that's when I started looking elsewhere for a mentor. And lo and behold, I joined a bunch of different groups. I started talking to a bunch of different people. And this gentleman whose group that I joined, reached out to me, and him and I had a really nice long, it's supposed to be like a 30 minute or 15 minute strategy session that he was supposed to give me, and uh, an hour and a half or two hours later, um, him and I came to an agreement with a mentorship, and I spent another $7,500 on a mentorship. So, so I'm a 16000 in debt to get started, but now I have a mentor, which was worth every damn penny. Um, my mentor is Jamie Gardner, him and two of his partners, Jacob Karras and Chris Donnelly, created the program Super Affiliate Accelerator, uh, one of the programs that I started with, which is an absolutely fantastic program. It teaches you all the basic fundamentals to get started. 
um, all the fundamentals that are universally used throughout the industry. So even if things change in the industry, the fundamentals that you're going to learn in this program and the marketing tactics that you learn in the program can be used forever. And then from that program spun off Jamie's program, my mentor, Jamie created his own program, the Ultimate Marketing Mastermind, which again, I went through Jamie's program as well. Another fantastic program, absolutely love it. Um, I would recommend it to anybody, especially if uh, you're struggling in your business and you're having a hard time finding leads. Um, Jamie is an absolute whiz when it comes to building your business and lead generation and finding prospects in different groups and things like that. Jamie's an absolute whiz at it. So I got my, my group is growing. I got 51 people in my group since I started it um, a couple of months back. Um, you know, now that I'm back to work again and still working my contracting business, I'm struggling a little to find the balance of everything, but it's going, group's growing. I got some sales under my belt. Absolutely enjoying affiliate marketing. I can't wait till I can do it full time and I can ditch electrical work altogether. Um, another program that I joined because the people that created this program, and that's what the basis of all this is. It's teaching you the fundamentals that you need to learn how to market just about anything. And from that, you can create your own program and market it, which is the end goal for me. Eventually, I'll have my own program, and I'll be marketing it. But along the way, I've joined a bunch of different programs, and you learn something from every program that you join. Um, I joined Group Juice over the Thanksgiving break because they were doing a, a buy one, get one, pretty much, for Group Juice and um, content to cash flow. Group Juice focuses pretty much on short form video content, how to create it, and how to make it marketable that people want your product without you having to go and hunt down prospects, which is a, a absolutely fantastic concept when it comes to marketing, because who wants to have to put in all the additional work to find prospects when you can make video content and have them come to you? So I, I bought into that program, which I absolutely love it. My video content has gone from, you know, sketchy to um, I'm actually getting engagement. Every time I post a video, I'm getting new followers from that video. Um, I got, I want to say, 50 new leads from the content that I've posted so far. Um, just a matter of reaching out and talking to them, starting to build a relationship and uh, seeing what they're into and what they need to get some sales generated, which is what I'm going to start focusing on most. Um, but hopefully with this December special that I got going on with the Home Business Academy, I'll get some people involved in that and I'll get them rocking and rolling and making some money online. Because this is a uh, fantastic business model. I mean, I started off in MLM, mainline marketing or whatever the hell you want to call it, back when I was doing um, nutritional products. And granted, the products were great, but the business model sucked. The people that I got involved in the business sucked. Everybody was into, in it for themselves and not into it for the team. And uh, everybody ended up quitting and leaving me hanging, which then I just quit the business model to begin with. But the community that I'm in now with Super Affiliate Accelerator and Ultimate Marketing Mastermind and Group Juice, it's a really tight-knit community and everybody looks out for one another. It's not just about building your own business. It's about helping everybody build their business because everybody has different prospects. Everybody has different customers. Everybody's building their own groups. So it, it doesn't hurt you at all to help somebody else. 
to engage in their content, to comment on their videos, um, to, to help their prospects if you can add value in some way, shape, or form. So it, it's, a, it's a really great community, something that I've never actually imagined that I would have getting into, into this business is a, an actual community. Um, I've made so many new friends from all over the world. Um, I got friends from England, Scotland, um, Africa, I mean, all over the United States. Um, you know, and, and it's it's really neat to to talk to all these people and, and find out about their lives and you know how, what things are how things are going in their countries compared to what they are in the United States. Um, you know, I got a bunch of friends from Canada, so it's it's a it's a great atmosphere to be in. Every time I get online, there's somebody on there, and. Uh, Every time I talk to my friends, everybody says, "All I." Every time I get on Facebook, all I see is you. Well, that's great. That's the way that I want it. I want you to see me. You're supposed to see me. That means my my content's getting out there. So that's great. But do me a favor. Comment on that damn content. The comments and the engagements, the likes, the hearts, all that kind of shit, that pushes that content out further. So that helps out big time. So. Don't just stare at me and laugh at me, uh, uh, you know, under your breath. Actually engage in my shit. Help me out. You know what I mean? And I see you watching, Chris. I see your comment, but I'm driving at 70 miles an hour on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And I'm, I'm, I'm lucky I'm looking over at the phone, let alone uh, seeing what the comments say. So I'll get back into comments once I get home and I'm safe and sound. This is a, uh, a long trip. I still got 28 miles to go, so out of 50. So I, you, you've had me for 20 minutes already. How exciting. Woohoo! Listening to me ramble about stupid shit for 20 minutes. But hey, it is what it is. I'll keep you entertained. You keep me entertained so this ride goes by faster. It took me an hour to get there. I was there for five minutes and an hour back. I wish I had a damn helicopter. I'll tell you what, though. As a goal, one of these days when I'm making enough money, maybe I'll get my own damn helicopter. Fuck this driving shit. I'll just fly everywhere. I'll be able to go to Australia and see Jamie, although he's moving to New Zealand. I'll get to go to New Zealand and see Jamie at his new house. Hopefully he makes a, uh, a builds a big house and he can put a guest room on for me. <laughs> How about that? Chris, you want to go visit Jamie? <laughs> uh, but yeah, these guys are so knowledgeable. Jamie's been doing this full time for three years. He's got more than 10 years of experience in the business. He's got so many awards. You know, I'm working diligently. I want my damn $10,000 plaque for my wall. I got lots of empty wall space. Being a single guy, I ain't got a... The only pictures I got hung are the ones my daughter gave me and my grandkids. I'm not really into decorating. I actually had a couple of beers last night and set the Christmas tree up, which I said I wasn't going to do. But I bought the dog an ornament. So I had to set the tree up so I had some place to put the dog's ornament. That's pretty much the only reason why I set the Christmas tree up. And that and, and it blocks the, the 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 view of the bathroom from the front door. So when I'm in there taking a dump, I can leave the door open now. <laughs> That's a good thought, huh? But yeah, whatever. It is what it is. It's a Christmas season. I guess I should have to tree up regardless of how much of a pain in the neck it is walking around it all the time. But it is kind of nice sitting and watching the lights twinkle at night while I'm watching TV for the last couple of minutes that my eyes stay open for the day. Being said, it's Friday night and I got to work tomorrow. I probably won't be uh, up very long because my wonderful, wonderful brother has got to work at his 9 to 5 tomorrow. So he's not going to be working. 
just me and my son-in-law Scott, so we'll do our best to kick some butt and get as much done as we possibly can, and then whatever we don't get done tomorrow, we'll finish next Saturday. One of the joys of having an electrical contracting business on top of working your 9 to 5 still, but it is what it is. You gotta bring in them Benjamins sitting on the couch watching TV don't pay the bills. Although my poor old body is about beat to shitting back from all these years of working six days a week, so looking forward to getting this affiliate marketing off the ground and profitable so I can retire from side work. And it's a great side income too. I mean, if you don't want to retire from your nine to five, if you like your nine to five, so be it. But if you're looking to make extra money, that's there too. You know, I mean, you don't have to put as much time into it as I do. I mean, the point of me putting all this time into it is because I have a specific purpose. I want to scale this to 10,000 a month and I want to quit my nine to five. But all, if you're, all you're looking for is a couple hundred dollars or a thousand dollars extra a month, you could start a really lucrative side business doing this and only have to put a, a couple of hours a week into it, you know? I mean, hell, you could post content while you're uh, on your lunch break at work. It's simple. I did a, uh, <coughs> a, a drive out to see my mom last Sunday, and I took my little clicker with me for my camera remote. And I just did short video clips for the 30 minute ride out to see my mom. I think I did 66 video clips in 30 minutes. Um, and they're all interchangeable clips. So I could take one clip at the beginning and one clip at the middle and one clip at the end and put them all together and, and make a short video, add some text to it and add some music to it. And, and post it and I can mix and match those 66 different clips any way I want. And hell, I can probably I could probably get 80 or 90 uh, 80 or 90 videos out of that out of one 30 minute session. You know, imagine if you did that once a week, how much content that you could come up with, and you wouldn't have to worry about content for weeks or months, maybe if you if you made enough and did it in the right way. And I'd be more than happy to help you with that. I'm getting pretty good at content creation. I saw you texted me, Chuck, but I'm driving, buddy. I can't read the text messages. Got one hand on the road, one, high, one eye on the road, one eye on the phone. <laughs> oh, boy. I am to Allegheny Valley. I got 20 miles to go to get back to Irwin, and then I'll be home. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm going to jump on my group. And I'm going to do a live training tonight on optimizing your profile for profit. So how you can take your, your personal profile and optimize the settings in it. So if you're using your profile for business or if you're trying to brand yourself, that your profile will be visible to other people on Facebook. Um, but your security settings will still be in place. Um, and you don't have to worry a whole lot. So that's what tonight's live is going to be about. Um, depending on how work goes tomorrow, I might try doing another live on how to build a group. Because part of my December, um, my December special, uh, I told the five people, or I promised the five people that sign up for my my special that I am going to help them get their groups started so I'm going to do a video presentation on group building that I can save and use as an asset later um, and then eventually all the videos that I do in group will become part of my initial video set for my program once I start building my own program so that's one of the great things about all of this video content that I'm putting out, all of it is an asset. Like even this live that I'm doing right now, I can save it, download it, and I can cut it up into pieces, and I can use it for video content. Um, any any little bits or pieces of it that are rel relative to anything that I'm doing at the time, 
I can cut it up and, and edit it and, and use it for um, video content creation as well. So none of this stuff ever goes away. It's always saved in in uh, Facebook um, or online, or you can download it into your computer and keep it. So none of this is wasted time. It's all assets and it's all usable content for your business. You know, um, it's it's just a wonderful to business to be in. I absolutely love it. I love the group of people that I'm in. Um, we're very supportive of one another. It, you know, um, Chris, Chris Ramirez, man, you'll be kicking ass. You're, you're on Facebook as much as I am anymore, which is great. Good job. shouldn't be taking hour-long trips with a bad wheel hop, but that'll be uh, Sunday's adventure and possibly Monday since I'm off again Monday. I pulled a bunch of vacation time for the month of December, so I only have to work three days a week through Christmas. Um, well, Christmas I'm off for two weeks. So, because my I'm still healing from my rotator cuff, rotator cuff surgery. It's getting better got most of my range of motion back. I'm a little sore today because they've been kicking my ass in physical therapy. Um, I was released to start doing strength training last week. So they've been stepping up their efforts at uh, physical therapy. And I've been going back to the gym again every day because I'm trying to build my strength back up because I really want to uh, I really want to start bowling again in January if I can. I'd like to bowl the second half of the season with my league. Since that's how I got hurt to begin with, <coughs> believe it or not, it was a freak bowling accident. My dumbass stepped over the line, the foul line on the bowling alley, and my foot hit the oil as I was throwing the ball, and both of my feet came out from underneath me. I hit the ground with a massive thud as I reached out behind me to catch myself tore my bicep in one of the tendons in my shoulder. So I didn't have much of a choice, but I had to go get it done. The doctor told me it's now or never, which nobody ever likes to hear that because I was going to try to put it off. But I definitely wouldn't have been able to bowl this fall if I didn't get it fixed. So um, I didn't miss much anyway. One way or the other, I wasn't going to be able to bowl. But I'm looking forward to getting back at it in January. You know, my my, uh, my good buddy Ryan, who's the one that hooked me up with the shot guy, by the way. Um, him and I bowl together. He was a he was a customer that turned into a brother rather than a uh, a customer. Him and I hit it off like gangbusters right off the bat, and we've been like brothers ever since. Um, great dude, love you, Ryan. But anyway, yeah. Ryan's on my bowling league. He got a new bowl last year, which uh, made me jealous, so I, I had to get a new bowl, too. But getting a new bowl, I, I picked up 20 pins on my average just getting a new bowl because I was throwing my 25-year-old bowling ball that I had when I was bowling in a league when I first got married back in my 20s. So technology has changed quite a bit since then. Um, so my new bowl is badass. But I'm really looking forward to getting back to bowling. Just to get, just to be able to do something. I'm tired of being in the house. I got cabin fever from the end of summer and fall from being stuck in the house with shoulder surgery. Now it's winter time and you got double cabin fever because I'm stuck in the house with winter. You know, but hopefully my frame will be done at the powder coater pretty soon. Ryan's going to steam clean my swing arm for my quad. I get this guy rebuilt my shocks. I got most of the parts I need to put the roller back together. So hopefully I get uh, I get my quad going over Christmas break. <coughs> Along with kicking some ass on my business again while I'm off for two weeks over Christmas break. Well, I made it to the Pittsburgh exit. I got ten more minutes till I make it to Irwin. Eleven minutes. 
What can I talk about for 11 more minutes to get a whole hour in on this live? You guys are probably bored stiff. But anyway, yeah, Christmas is coming. I got two weeks off over Christmas. University shuts down for Christmas, so they graciously give us that time paid. Although I probably should work it and make money, but I'm not going to because I never do. I'm off from the, I think the 22nd to January 5th I go back. So that'll give me a good two weeks to uh, hammer out some stuff on my on my affiliate marketing business and get shit rolling. Because I'm looking forward to early retirement. This dude is sick of working like a madman. Tired of working six days a week, working two jobs, done doing contracting work. Both my hands got arthritis in them. Got one shoulder done. I'm gonna have to have a knee done. My feet hurt. I'm just getting old. I wanna be able to enjoy retirement. I actually wanna be able to do shit once I retire. I don't want my body to be beat up and hurting so bad that I can't do anything once I retire. That ain't going to be no fun. Plus, I've worked with a lot of guys in the, in the past years that they worked so long that when they retired, they died. That don't sound like fun either. Who wants to work all these years and then finally get to retirement and then die? Now, my projected retirement age is 67 and a half to get full social security if that's the big if our federal government doesn't steal all of that damn money from us and there is no social security anymore that's not even a guarantee for guys my age anymore there's a five minute slowdown in five miles oh you great the fastest route. accident ahead five minute slowdown which means you get me for five more minutes yay but Hopefully we'll get through this quickly. I gotta go home and find out what the fuck's for dinner. But yeah, this, this retirement thing, it, it really it really had me worried. You know, because I've worked most of my years as an electrician in construction. It's just the last 15 years, well the first 15 years, let's say, of my career, I worked in construction. The last 15 years I've worked for a university that actually has a 403B retirement plan. None of the contractors that I worked for in construction um, had a retirement plan, and most of the time, I didn't work for them long enough to be vested in their retirement plan if they did have one. You know, because it was one of them things where working your butt off and you're getting nowhere, so you go to a different go, you go to a different contractor hoping to get ahead. You know, all I wanted to do was get a job as a supervisor or a foreman running work for, for somebody, and, and uh, jumping from contractor to contractor wasn't getting me anywhere, so I had a short stint at being self-employed, which didn't work out very well, because it's really hard to bid jobs, install jobs, build jobs, all, all by yourself. You know, it's I don't know how guys do it that and contractors that are employed only with themselves, that, that's a tough gig. You know, so I didn't build any kind of retirement for the first 15 years I was in the industry. Only this last 15 years. And to be honest with you, in the next 10, I can't see, especially with them trying to take part of our, our pension match away from us right now. Um, I can't see me building enough income to be able to retire comfortably. And I don't want to have to struggle. I don't want to have to skimp and save and worry about what I'm spending money on, you know, the food that I'm buying, medical bills, medicines, you know, because Medicare don't pay for shit. Um, I don't want to have to struggle with all of that. So I figure this way, I started this affiliate marketing business. If I can scale it to the point where I'm at 10000 a month, I can be comfortable with quitting my full-time job concentrate solely on the affiliate marketing business, build that income, scale that income higher, start saving more money towards retirement, and this is also something that I can do, the, the coaching and everything, 
I can do well into retirement. Um, I could coach people into my, into my 60s and 70s. They might not want to listen to the old geezer talk, um, but at that point, I'll have 15 or 20 years invested in the industry, and uh, I should know my shit by then. You know, I just got to work more on my copy because I'm not the best at writing copy. Um, and I came to the slowdown. What the hell's going on? What are everybody switching lanes? Are we in one lane or the other lane? Um, I put my offer out and showed it to my mentor and, and his badass tweaked some things for me and uh, I was flabbergasted when I got it back. Holy, holy shit, the, the, the dude is an absolute genius when it comes to writing copy, but I guess when you're in the business for 10 years and you've had a profitable business for three and you're partnered with somebody that does copy um, for a living, you learn a thing or two. Um, when it comes to writing, Chris Donnelly's an absolute genius. He's Jamie's partner with Super Affiliate Accelerator. Um, and when it, when it comes to business building, Jacob Karras is a genius. Um, the, the, I mean, just the, the knowledge base that I have in the group that I'm in. If you actually listen to what they're telling you and you implement when they tell you, you have no choice but to succeed with this, with this group of people. I mean, it's just absolutely insane, mind-blowing, um, the community that I'm, that I'm in. All right, we're rolling along. You know, it's, well, I'm following along with the GPS on my, on my uh, phone, and it, it always sucks when the blue line turns red. <laughs> uh, the red line means slow going, and I'm not a slow going kind of guy. 100 miles an hour everywhere. Stop sign to stop sign, red light to red light. That's why I have to change my damn brakes so often. It's probably why my wheel bearing's bad. Who knows? This poor truck, it's been a good truck though. I'll tell you what, she got 143,000 miles on her, burns a little bit of oil, but she still runs like a top and holds up to all the abuse that I put her through. Second transmission, third rear end, tires every three years. Tires are expensive. Every time gas goes up, oil goes up, rubber goes up, tires go up. I think the last time I bought tires, it was $2,500 for four tires, mounted and balanced, and the only place that I could get them was Amazon. And they delivered them, believe it or not. Can you, can, can you, would you want to be the freaking uh, FedEx driver delivering 100 pounds of rubber tire, four of them? guy said to me when he dropped them off, he says, I hope you don't return these because I don't want to have to pick them back up again. I said, don't worry, pal. I'm not returning them because this was the only place I could find them. Oh, now we're at a complete standstill. Hey, Rick, what's going on, buddy? How's things? I see your neighbor at work all the time. He keeps me posted on what's going on over at your house. Oh yeah. Facebook Live is great because I can actually still listen to the music while I'm freaking talking. If I would uh, do a video while I'm on here, I can't have the radio playing because the damn phone shuts the music off. So you can listen to my my tunes. Uh-oh. All right. I'm going to end the live because I got a call coming in. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for keeping me company while I'm driving.